Hey, what's going on guys? It's No Shoes and we're back with another one and today we're going to be reacting to Day Before from Young Thug with Mac Miller. This was suggested by Schultzy over in the Discord. If you're interested in joining the Discord, check out the link in the description to the Buy Me A Coffee account down below. But thank you to Schultzy for the suggestion. Keep them coming in the comments down below as well, my guys. I really do appreciate it. Without any further ado, though, let's get right into this. See what Young Thug and Mac Miller got to say. See what Day Before is all about. I know Schultzy was saying that Young Thug makes auto-tune sound bad, so I'm not sure what we're in for just yet. I haven't really, I don't really listen to much Young Thug. I don't know if, honestly, I don't know if I've ever heard him before. So, let's see what this is all about. Yeah. Hey. It's, <clears throat> it's a double OP, I'm a diss -off. Shit, he was talking brazen and law. Not the nigga. I ain't trying to go. Uh, hold up. Hey, it's S N double O P. I'm a dizzard. Shit, he was S N double O P. I'm a dizzard. Okay, so we got a Snoop Dogg reference. Talking brazen and law. Not the nigga. I ain't trying to give him a chance. Hold and up. it killed me, you'll take the stand on me. You know, I just had a hundred thousand piece of rand on me. I had a hand in dog room so she can. Okay, so he's talking about Snoop Dogg. Then we, st then we're moving to, he got a bunch of a bunch of pounds wrapped up on him. Hundreds, hundred thousand pounds wrapped up on him. This is interesting. I was a piece of rand on me. I had a hand in dog room so she can say my list. I tried to take back all the watches. Wait, what? I had to hand out all the rooms so she can't say I'm molested? What that even mean, bruh? I tried to take back all the watches, rings, and the necklaces. She said I'm taking full advantage because I'm never stressing. Plus I had feelings for this girl that daddy owned the wrestlers. Don't get me wrong because it ain't nothing but- What are we talking about, young thug? Ugh. Because it ain't nothing but they money, Nick. I meant to tell you since a kid I began my own figures. I was bringing in the racks and she was steady shopping. I'm talking big bills, all colors, nigga Monopoly. I ain't tripping, bitch, I'm shopping. Big bills, all color, Monopoly. That's not bad wordplay there. Like, my issue isn't really with, like, most of the stuff he's saying, it makes sense. And if it was said differently, I'd be like, yo, that's hard. But, like, this weird effect he got on his voice, I am not vibing. Bitch, I'm sharper than the damn shady. Super different. I even stood out on my own partners. Since a kid, I've been a dresser. Thousand Island. I was seeing my diamonds green. Piss poor. Dresser. Thousand Island. Thousand Island dressing. That's a leap right there. Diamonds green. Piss poor. Whoa. Yeah. Bitch, talk to him while I'm sleeping. Yeah, yeah. Swimming in the linen like deep end. Yeah. Yeah, all I ever needed was an alibi, yeah, yeah. I don't need a motherfucking reason, yeah. Out of my Okay, yeah, so we got Matt coming in. And right off the bat, the same effect is still on his voice. But the flow is so much better. Oh my gosh. Young thug. How did you hear Mac Miller's verse to this and say to yourself, Mine's good, let's put it on. Hold up. Yeah. Bitch, talk to him while I'm sleeping. Yeah, yeah. Swimming in the linen like the deep end. Yeah, yeah. All I ever needed was an alibi. Yeah, yeah. I don't need a motherfucking reason. Yeah. Out of mind, so I keep busy. Everything a hundred, I don't ever leave a fifty. Yeah. Did my own half time and follow simple. What the fuck you think I'm rich for? Why you think okay. I'm always talking shit? That's cool, man. I like where we go in here. It's interesting. Some of the bars, I'm not sure I'm getting the references for. You know, he was talking about, like, uh, up in the linens, in the deep end, talk to me while I'm sleeping. It's interesting what he's saying. I'm not sure what it means, but I really like the flow a lot more. Think I'm rich, for? Why you think I'm always talking shit with my hand on my dick and the cribbage bitch turn to a strip shop? That's what it is, though. Yeah, that's what it is, though. 
Yo, yeah. Max said he just beating it to the girls in the crib once they turn it to a strip show. All right. Yeah, well, leave me alone. Take your ass home. If it ain't another million, I ain't picking up the phone. Phony motherfuckers always sitting on the throne. All I want some pussy, baby, give a dog a bone. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I want some pussy, give a dog a bone. I like that. And then I ain't picking up the phone if it ain't another million. So I ain't talking unless we talking money. All I want some pussy, baby, give a dog a bone. Yeah, yeah. I don't need a lot, but I got a lot. I don't need a lot, but I got a lot. Money for the whip in the parking lot. Everything cut and turn the shit into a barber shop. Swear I'm always shining. Ooh, hold up. Everything cut and turn the shit into a barber shop. Said he cutting the corners, maybe. Whipping round in the in the car. Okay. <laughs> Everything cut and turn the shit into a barber shop. Swear I'm always shining. Couldn't tell you if it's dark or not. Just a couple things I thought about, yeah. I like that. Swear I'm always shining. Couldn't tell you if it's dark or not. Said I'm making my own light. A couple things I thought about, yeah, yeah. Okay. What is that? Those sounds in the background are so crazy. But that was interesting. That was interesting, guys. You know, we've been finding some of these features of Mac Miller with other artists that I really never expected. Like when we reacted to Aquaberry Dolphin with Riff Raff and Mac on it. And this was interesting. I gotta say I'm much more of a fan of the way Riff Raff and Mac Miller mesh together than the way Young Thug and Mac do. But Mac did fit the style of the beat in the song. I think he had a better flow coming in. And honestly, some of his bars, I didn't really understand their meaning either. Just like with a Young Thug. But I feel like I was more satisfied with my non -under with the fact that I couldn't understand what he meant. By that, I actually enjoyed the way he said it, as opposed to not enjoying the way he said it and not understanding when it came to Young Thug. There were a couple nice pieces of wordplay for Young Thug, though. I don't want to completely trash talk it, but that flow was garbage. Either way, though, this was day before from Young Thug and Mac Miller. Thank you again to Schultze for the suggestion. Keep them coming, guys. I really do appreciate them. Don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, and hit that bell. It helps out the channel, and that way you can keep seeing these videos. Thank you to everybody in the No Shoes Gang, and I will see you all next time.